I'm gonna show you a cool tool that will take one long form video and turn it up to 10 pieces of short form content with just one click. So this is Opus Clips and it can take one long form piece of content and turn it into multiple pieces of short form content. But not only that, it's going to auto caption the entire video and add emojis in that TikTok Alex Ramosi style with 97% accuracy. Videos come out in 1080p resolution and it is also multi-language capable. So if you wanted to translate your videos to multiple languages, you could do that directly from Opus Clips. They have templates that you can use and they will also auto focus on the main speaker. So that way they are directly the main focus of your clips. So when you create your Opus Clip account, it's going to look maybe something like this. It's very, very simple. There's just one bar and all you need to do is literally just go over into YouTube, copy a URL, and then go back to Opus Clips and paste that in. It will load the video and then you can just get your clips in one click just like that. So when your video is done, it's gonna show up down here and you can just click on the video and this is what it would look like. So this is a video on YouTube that was uploaded into Opus Clips and you can see the types of videos that it's creating. You know, like some evil dictator or country could send their intelligence agency to go steal it and gain control. It just becomes a very unstable situation, I think, if you've got any incredibly powerful AI. You just don't know who's gonna control that. So it's not as though I think that- So that's what the clips look like and not even from a very long video. This one's only 20 minutes. We got seven different clips available from one 20 minute video. Another cool feature about Opus Clips is it gives us this thing called a score. So the score is going to tell us the likelihood of that going viral. I don't know how they come up with the score, but maybe it has something to do with the title. So the main topic of this particular clip, as well as how engaged people may be watching this clip. But let's say you're listening to the clip and you see a typo or there's just something that you wanted to modify. You can click on edit and then it's going to take you to the Opus Clips editor. So the first thing that you can edit is the auto intro caption. So the auto intro caption is going to be when you are, let's say, on YouTube Shorts or TikTok, this is going to be the first frame that you see. So you're going to be making a split second decision just by reading this little title if it's something that you want to continue watching. And again, this was auto created from Opus Clips and it says Elon Musk's warning on the dangerous of AI. That's a pretty strong title for a video. So I think that I would just leave it as is. But if I wanted to change it, I could just go in here and I could say instead of AI, we could just say chat GPT. And just like that, it is going to change that title card. So what this video is doing is it's leaving that intro caption at the beginning of the video just for a few seconds because they know that if somebody's going to be scrolling through these shorts that they're going to be reading this first and then they're going to want to see those captions come up. So it waits a few seconds and then it's going to go into the captions like this. Now what I like about Opus Clips is that it adds in all of these different little emojis automatically so it just keeps it a little bit more engaging but let's say I didn't like this emoji right here and I wanted to change it. I could just go in very very easily and then click on the emoji and then change it to whatever I want. So let's say I want, you know, these cherries, I can go back and now we've got these cherries. Or let's say that I wanted to change the color of this one particular piece of caption, I can go and change the color, click on edit, and we can change this to whatever we want. And now I want this to be instead yellow or I want this to be white, I can change that to whatever. But let's say I don't like the yellow or green either, I can go to the brand section and then scroll down to the bottom and we can change all of the colors for this. So let's say I want blue and then I want red. So now we've got blue and red. And if there's anything that I wanna change in here, let's say I don't want it to be uppercase, we can have it all lowercase just like that or we can have everything uppercase. You can just see how easy this is and why it is just so nice. We could do the original ratio. We could change the aspect ratio to whatever we want, just like that. And all of the changes are going to happen in real time right over there. If we don't like any of the emojis for whatever reason, we could just click on that. And now there's not gonna be any emojis inside this text. Let's say we change the font, we change the color, and we want this to be for any of our future clips. We can just scroll up to the bottom and then do save as, and then we can create a brand template using these specific colors. So let's say for yourself, or if you have a client that you're gonna be creating these clips for, you can have a separate brand template for that client that you're gonna be working with. If you make any mistake, you can just very easily just click on undo. And if you need to go back, you can also do redo. So this is just a very easy layout. It's simple, it's minimal, and it's just very efficient. When everything looks good, we can just click on save and compile, and then we will be able to download our videos. If you like Opus Clips for using AI to scale your content creation, then you're probably gonna like this cool tool here.